Hey everybody, we're looking at sheep. Actually, no, Anna's looking at birds. But here's why you should look at sheep with us. These sheep are pregnant. They're due, when are they due, Anna? Uh, about April 6th, around then, but it could be sooner or later. So in a yeah. couple days? Yeah. So if you ever want to know what a pregnant sheep looks like, Those you're three. about to find out. These three? Yes. Hey, Daniel, we're up on our farm on uh, Vancouver Island. Hey, guys. The two closest and the one lying down, but not that one. See that fatty right here? This is this Stomper. Stomper stomps, hope, hoping you'll give an apple. If you give her an apple, she gets happy. Otherwise, she gets angry and runs away. <laughs> and what, who's this one, Anna? Is this that chocolate? This is Fluffy. This is Fluffy. So here's Fluffy. Hey, Fluffy, what's up? And that big fat one over there even though he's the fattest of all, is not pregnant. Riley, this is the good sheep. The rest of these sheep I'm not sure about, but Riley here, we love Riley. So, about two days, these guys, not this one, he's the boy. <laughs> these guys, they're gonna have baby sheep. And it's kind of cool, because if you don't know, like you sort of see when that one's walking, just a little bit of a bulge, they probably each have two babies in them. And I will do my very best when uh, when they come out to do an Instagram live so you can see a live sheep. And what was it like when the little baby came out last time? What'd you well, think? actually, back then we only had three sheep and one was probably pregnant and they were just roaming around. And then when we came driving back from a ski trip, only two sheep came running and we said, uh-oh, where's the other one? Because she wasn't due for two weeks, although it can vary, of course. And then we found her in there with a little lamb. Anna, do you think that our sheep are afraid of the coronavirus? No. This one right here looks like it. I mean, look at that look. That, that's definitely the look of someone who's living in fear. <laughs> oh, man. Well, if you guys have some questions, um, I will answer them or Anna will answer them. Whether they're about sheep, and we'll just be petting, uh, petting Riley here in the meantime. Uh, whether they're about sheep or uh, anything else, I thought I'd take a, take a few minutes. Here's someone probably, then you'll kill the sheep and eat it or have milk. Yes, actually, except Riley. We're not gonna kill Riley, he's our pet. But these guys, if their babies are strong, we're gonna keep them and have more babies. And if their babies are weak, we're gonna eat the sheep because that means that they aren't good breeding sheep. This is actually how farms work. It's amazing, we've done this forever. But you guys wanna see something really cool? I'm gonna show you something really cool, ready? This, this is green grass, this, that's why the grass is green. And if you think that you can be a vegan and eat vegan food, you can't because the vegan food has that animal product built right in. It's just terrifying to think about that. Yes, your stupid kale ate poop and there's nothing we can do about it because that's the cycle of life. All right, uh, HB hat for blocking radiation since you've been inside for so many weeks. I don't know. Oh, Jar Jarda, you're reading the Bulletproof Diet for the first time. Thank you. Um, Let's see. Oh, thanks, Jasmine. I, I totally thought the orange was on brand. I, I like this outfit. I think it's cool. And the, the hood is always inside out, but still, I like it. All right. Vancouver is, well, rainy, like always. Uh, energy food or supplements from in, in, a, in Inspirational. You know, if Mother Nature is going to give you all of your vitamins, Mother Nature should give you all of your toxins and nothing else, except... All of us are getting exposed to way more toxins than we were engineered or than we evolved uh, to, to have. So I don't understand how we're supposed to have detox systems that work based on vegetables alone or based on meat and vegetables or whatever. Uh, seems like you're gonna have to take some extra things, especially now um, when we're all looking to be more resistant. Has my stance on uh, the virus changed in the last few days from Lee? Um, no, I still think that we have no idea. In fact, go to my, my main page on Instagram. Look at the uh, the pandemic math video. It'll take about five minutes of your life. It's worth it. And I talk about the magic number that we don't know that tells you what it, it's like. And if you look back at uh, H1N1, um, they, they were saying, oh, it's going to be 1.3% fatality. And four years later, when they actually could measure the magic number, they're like, oh, it was 0.02% fatality. So we were only wrong by 65 times. So you get these panics like that. So to this day... I think if you take away people who are already very likely to die of one of the three or more existing conditions they already have, um, it's not as bad as you think. However, you 
can and should be self-quarantining because we don't have emergency room capacity for people who are probably going to need it. So you spread, you spread out. And I'm about to do a video later today um, with Alan where we are going to uh, talk about how the curve, we're thinking about it totally wrong. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share some really cool stuff. and It'll be something that's kid appropriate because we'll do that. Anna, do you want to answer a question or do you want to ask me any questions we can answer for people? Hmm. Hmm. Nope. That would be a no. Let's see. Who's behind the coronavirus mystery? Santa Claus. Definitely Santa Claus. <laughs> How long do I think we'll be in social distancing? Anna, hold on a second. You're within six feet of me. I think we're... <laughs> <laughs> Even Riley took one step back on that one. So, uh, um... I think we're going to look in at this for probably another month, which is really not cool. Anna, who's your favorite sheep? That's what Eric says. Uh, uh, probably Riley. Riley. Yeah, Riley's just like the sheep. All if, if, the, yeah. if you guys want to know what a sheep should be like, it's this guy right yeah, here. Yeah, although all the other, yeah. ones are ex the other ones are exciting because they might have lambs, but... Yeah. Anyway, we just wanted to say good morning, and the 33rd Witcher is definitely, in all caps, upset about the coronavirus. Um, but you don't necessarily have to be in all caps to show that you're upset. Um, fear is sold by mass media. Why? Why are you asking me this? <laughs> Same question, Anna. What has been your greatest opportunity during this quarantine? That's an interesting question. All right. Mm -hmm. I want to know the 12 year old mindset. What's, what's been good about being socially isolated? Well, I get to do farm school every, every weekday for an hour from 10 to 11 What's which is school? basically just learning to do things around the farm with our farm manager like one day we might move the pig pasture to a new location so they'll have new places to root or we might build part of the sheep shelter or plant seeds or harvest like forage for wild nettles or just all sorts of things. It's different every day, which I really like. So you really, uh, uh, you really, you really like that? Yeah. So I'll give you a secret, Anna. Farm school is just a way to get you to do farm chores. I know. They're fun, though. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, CDO, uh, Tharder, um, C dot harder, whatever that is. Uh, do I take melanotan in the cloudy place? I do. Melanotan is one of the peptides I wrote about in Superhuman. All right. Let's see if there's any more questions on here. You're an amazing human being. They're talking about you, definitely. People from Brazil saying hi. Uh, and what else? How much vitamin C, zinc combination, Dave? There's a question about someone out there. And Chris Masterjohn, a guy um, that I've, um, I've spoken to several times and is you know, respected in the paleo world. Um, who's saying he doesn't recommend vitamin D, A, and C. Uh, I haven't seen his research about why, but that doesn't make any sense on that. Uh, and, and my understanding of all those things, we're on higher dose of those. And uh, step into my bubble, what's my take on lectins? Believe it or not, The Bulletproof Diet, published in 2014, was the first book to call out lectins as a major, uh, a major problem in our food. Uh, it turns out lectins are not the only thing and not all lectins are bad for you. It depends on the lectins. Hey, look, he's eating my shoe. <laughs> I'm talking to you guys while Riley eats the toe of my boot. It's hilarious. <laughs> uh, and now people are asking political questions when we're talking about sheep. Can I just tell you how funny and ironic and meta that is? Let me just say. <laughs> that was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> Why would you ask me what presidential candidate I support in the middle of this? Come on. What? Something that matters. Um, people are asking if you're my wife. Thank you for that answer, Galen. His daughter, weirdos. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, oh, here's some really cool one. Um, inspirational. Your latest book, Superhuman. You can't get your hands on half the things I mentioned. You got to ask yourself why. So why is it that the um, that the probiotic strain that makes uh, glutathione in your gut, or no, actually that makes spermidine in your gut? from Japan. Why is it they make yogurt out of it there, but we don't here and you can't even buy it unless you dig around and find stuff with Japanese labels. Uh, why are all these things that are shown in studies to make us live longer hard to get? Mostly because they're not patentable drugs and that's a problem. 
Uh, the 33rd Witcher, your insurance won't pay for modafinil. How do you get it the other way? The first step is you, you turn off all caps when you're typing because when you type in all caps, people usually just say no. I, I don't know why. <laughs> See all the hearts that one got? <laughs> just kidding. Um, let's scroll down and do some more questions. Let's see. How much vitamin C per day? Um, so I'm doing about four grams a day and a banana here does two grams a day. Um, and I just did an interview yesterday with a leader in functional genomics from a company called the DNA company um, that does my functional genomics testing for me. And um, we were talking about similar doses. I think he may, takes a little bit lower dose. And um, I think... I think that makes a good sense. If I was coming down with something or Anna was, we'd be cranking that up until the point of getting the runs is, is and the studies show that's how that works. All right. Thoughts on carbon 60. Listen to Bulletproof Radio. Just do Bulletproof Radio, carbon 60 or um, anything like that. You'll find the episode when I interview a top expert in the world on it. Ian Clark. Um, oxygen therapy for corona from lollipops it depends which oxygen therapy but basically ozone therapy is the first thing i would do if i thought i was getting sick in fact i'm doing it once every couple of days rectally and there's a video on my uh, dave asprey youtube channel as well as here on instagram about how to do ozone therapy yourself um, that stuff is amazing in fact it should be in every single uh, every single hospital they should be doing ozone because it's almost free and it works um, my kid's supplement stack is actually in a post. Just go to my main Instagram page and find a picture of this lovely girl here. And in front of her is some little vitamins forming a man. And I tell you what they're taking right there. Uh, Ryan, vitamin C with citrus bioflavonoids. Absolutely. At least take quercetin with it. That'll be good. Anna, are you, are you getting bored? You want to go get some more pregnant sheep? Uh, the questions are pretty interesting. Questions are interesting? Yeah, we can do some more. Uh, Steve, I literally saved you from chronic inflammatory response syndrome. Hey, thank you for telling me. That's why I do what I do. It was really hard because that wasn't defined when I had it. That's toxic mold poisoning. Uh, um, you have to be careful about taking R-alpha lipoic acid because it can cause heavy metals to be released in your body causing serious symptoms. What do you recommend to do if that happens? You could bind the metals with charcoal or the other binding agents, but I'm not as convinced as some that R-alpha lipoic acid is going to be the the primary way um, that your body's going to detox things. That hasn't been my experience. Um, I find that taking it twice a day works perfectly well, and I, I've done it for years, uh, even if I have higher metal levels, which has happened a couple times. The Plum Pretty. Does Dr. Lana not like social media? I would love to if she did live vids too. Anna, does mommy like social media? <laughs> not when you do it at the table. <laughs> That's a fair point. I would never do social media at the table. I would make me a bad person. No, she doesn't like social media. I don't think she has an Instagram account, or if she does, oh, she's... Dear. I think she might have one, but it hasn't been used in five years or something. <laughs> she doesn't even see my Instagram videos, which is why I can make all those jokes. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, let's see. Jared, have me or Joe Rogan ever been on each other's shows? You know, I've been on the Joe Rogan show three times. And the first time, uh, Bulletproof Coffee kind of changed his life. So he was a big fan for a while until one of his friends uh, decided that he was going to try and literally steal the Bulletproof brand. Uh, and at that point, all of a sudden... Um, I came on a couple more times and the third time he tried to get me to give away my secrets for how I do my lab testing uh, for his buddy. And then after that, uh, he decided that uh, he would smear my reputation. So he went for it. Uh, that said, uh, I love Joe Rogan. Uh, I totally appreciate it because even when he was saying bad things about me every time he did, uh, my sales went up. So thank you, Joe. I appreciate your brother. All right. Erudition. Is soybean oil, nature made, CoQ10 any good or toxic crap? Um, CoQ10 from almost anywhere is good, but soybean oil um, is shown to cause genetic changes in the brain you don't want. It's not on the Bulletproof diet. I don't recommend putting that stuff in your body. Wim Hof breathing for coronavirus. I have no data. Healthy lungs is a good thing. Being super cold is generally bad for viruses. Um, Spag Eddie, great name. See that? how he spelled that, Anna? Spag 3. <laughs> Where to buy ozone therapy machine? Listen to the Bulletproof Radio episode with Robert Rowan, R-O-W-E-N, or with Frank Schallenberger, um, S-C-H-A-L-L-E-N-B-E-R-G-E-R. -E -E and we talk about uh, different brands in those episodes. And uh, I think those are your best, your best points. Uh, but right now, it's getting to be harder to find ozone therapy machines because a lot of people said I want to have one. Hey, there's Joey Strudelmeyer. Joey's actually my cousin, or Jody is my cousin. 
um, what type of probiotics are best. I've been really impressed with Just Thrive lately. Uh, it depends what you want to take them for. And the guys at uh, Buy Optimizers also have some good stuff. Uh, 33rd Witcher. Any stronger stuff than modafinil out there, Dave? Cocaine? <laughs> Anna, did you guys see that? Anna did a professional teenage level eye roll when I said that, which was the appropriate response. I have to practice for being a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we both know that, and all of us listening hopefully know that cocaine is a terrible idea and you shouldn't take it. Um, but if you're looking for like a crazy strong stimulant, it's like the stereotypical one, which would be a bad idea to take. So I will just tell you, I think modafinil is, is right up there, but I was on it for eight years. I don't take modafinil now, um, because with bulletproof coffee, with fixing my mitochondria, with the neurofeedback 40 years in, I, my brain runs at that speed anyway, as you can probably tell what, um, um, what I would say though, and for anyone listening, if you're thinking, oh, modafinil, it's a smart drug. If you're under 25, don't do it unless you have a medical need. Um, the reason for that is that your brain isn't done cooking. And I, I've seen no evidence that it's going to be the best thing for you. But if it's, you know, Adderall versus modafinil, I kind of think modafinil is a better choice than Adderall because it does all sorts of bad things. Adderall is prescription meth, basically, without the meth molecule on it, but it's all the amphetamine stuff. Oh, look. Now Riley's chewing the fence. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to get some iron. <laughs> All right, let's scroll down to some other stuff. Um, I thought one question that just went by was asking if I used eggs for meditation, and we're like, biohacking is getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do meditate on eggs. I, I sit on one, and I do a clucking meditation. You too? <laughs> <laughs> Um, have I heard of the H2 water machine by Synergy Science? I have not. I do have a H2 water machine, uh, and a H. I bought it somewhere in Japan, and I have a H2 gas breathing machine. Uh, Campos de Avalar started nicotine. I'm right. Never smoke till you get a high. Um, <clears throat> and here's another one from I one. I, I, I like that name. I can't say it though. Do I not eat mushrooms like shiitake? I eat medical mushrooms for the reasons they have. I just think white button mushrooms and looking at them as, you know, a food source that doesn't have other effects on the body is a bit short-sighted. So mushrooms can and are good. Paul Stamets, the episode with him was really good. Um, it's all, all that good. Um, Red Rummers, how to not fear Bill Gates vaccine pushing. You know, I, I'm going to really piss everyone off on both sides of that debate. Um, are you guys in favor of liquids? By now you should be asking yourself, uh, which liquids? I'm going to ask you the same thing about vaccines. If you say that all vaccines are evil and dumb and can never work and all that stuff, start thinking. And if you say all vaccines are good and you should just tick them all randomly, start thinking. So that's the reality. It depends on which human, which genes, which vaccine, how it's packaged, how it's delivered. It probably matters if it's morning or night when you get it. Uh, <laughs> all sorts of stuff that we haven't studied very well. So I think that uh, I think that whole debate has gone way too tribal and polarized and it's all stupid. Uh, so any technology that allows us to control our immune function as one with autoimmunity, if I could get a clean vaccine that was going to turn down autoimmunity, I would do it a little while ago. In fact, I injected my own urine to get the IgGs out of my urine to control my immunity. And yeah, it was kind of sucked, but it worked. That's a, a therapy that's been documented to work. So yeah, bottom line, I, I, I'm not going to say that they all don't work. I'm also going to say that if you get all the vaccines ever made all at once, you're probably going to hate your life. So it's somewhere in the middle is the truth. Now, here's a great question. Caitlin, where do you think we should look for clean vaccine support? It turns out the people who make vaccines, they like to make money. <laughs> and scientists who make vaccines like to do good in the world. So over time, by raising issues about, say, aluminum and things like that, we will get there. And I just had the guy from... Uh, it was Lou Reese was on the show a while ago talking about that. Even guys like Dietrich Klinghardt, who are super well-known in the autism community. Um, he, he was just on a podcast saying, we are going to get there for clean vaccines that only have RNA in them and all. So look, it's just a way to talk to our immune system. It's not good or bad. Talking to your immune system with a machine gun is kind of stupid. So it depends on which kind of vaccine we're talking about here. So um, how am I doing with grocery orders or going to stores? How do you disinfect? I use spray 99% isopropyl alcohol in a mister and I missed it. And uh, live on a farm, the grocery store. Let me show you, show you guys some more of the grocery store here. Let's see, it's on the other side of that truck. 
See the grocery store right over there? That, that's a garden on the other side of the car. <laughs> those are archery targets and those are trees. But I mean, here's the deal. We have everything we need. So we go to the store like for, for fun um, and uh, you know, uh, fun being like we wanted to get some avocados or something, but it's not a, ne a necessity for life. And then one of us goes, wear a mask, mostly so other people feel good. They probably don't do much for you. Um, and wear some gloves and spray everything you get with uh, um, with isopropyl alcohol. You're good to go. Well, Anna, you feel like we're done? We're going to go look at the pigs. We can take everyone to see the pigs. Okay, or we sure. Can go. All right, we're going to go over and see the pigs while we talk. All right, I'm going to turn this thing around so you can see where we're going. So here's some more questions from here. Do I use Vasper daily? Nah. I use it occasionally. Uh, I'm too lazy to use it daily. Vasper is one of the pieces of technology in, in the labs. Look, there's Riley. Not following us. And here's all the... Oh, look. There's a rumor about pregnant ladies liking to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be a rumor. Here's someone from Brazil. Oh, Abarn just bought Superhuman today. Advice for a kid with ADHD. Look at inflammatory foods. It's so terribly important. And also... Uh, Heart rate variability training would be a really good thing. Look, the flowers are out. And what kind of flowers are those? Daffodils. Daffodils. You knew that, didn't you? Probably. You guys like our Illuminati shelter? <laughs> Turns out that's one of the easiest and cheapest structures to make for um, holding sheep. <laughs> hey guys, see? Pregnant women, food. <laughs> they go together like no one's business. All right, more questions. Do we get snow there? Not very often, thank goodness. How's that ozone treating me? Very, very well. Top three things to tell non-bulletproofers to help them against corona. Oh, what would you say for that, Anna? I don't know. You don't know? You know more about it than I do. <laughs> I do know a little bit more about it. All right, so to tell non-bulletproofers, take your vitamins already. Like seriously, go to bed on time. You're going to live a lot longer if you do that, and you'll be more resilient. But the real message here is, look, you have time now to become more resilient. So it doesn't matter if you actually decide you're going to become bulletproof. How about you do something to be hard to kill? <laughs> Stop smoking. Don't drink during this. You put down the french fries and the ice cream. You eat less sugar. Those are basic things, but all you have to do is make sure that if you get sick, you don't go to the hospital. And you can probably do that. By the way, check this out. Look at all this delicious food. There's my grocery store. Broccoli. These are hoop houses. They let us have a longer growing season. And what's this stuff? Did you plant that? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I think it was Kyle. So Looks like onions or something? Italian something. Oh, those are uh, leeks. Oh yeah, probably, yeah. Leeks. Oh man, someone took one of these the other day. I hate it when they take a leek. Ha! Dad jokes. All right. What would I use to block the radiation from my Wi-Fi modem and cell phones? I would use the off switch for the airplane mode. Turn off your Wi-Fi when you're not using it. Use a lamp cord with a switch on it. All right, this is our pig, our pig structure over here. All carnivore cures, all mental illness. Okay, that's a little bit exceptional. I did have Paul Saladino on the show interesting it doesn't cure all mental illness it cures some of them as a matter of fact you know what does fasting you know what causes a lot of mental illness food allergies you know what a lot of people are allergic to vegetables because vegetables are trying to kill us you know what's not trying to kill you these guys can you hear him hey guys so you'll notice these guys behave a little bit differently come to feed them. Um, well, these guys um, are not like sheep. Um, they See how they dig up the land? The sheep just fertilize the land. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? Yeah. Look at those noses. They're made for digging. It's so weird. Like sometimes you'll see them stick their whole face. It's trying to eat my aura ring. Look at that. Thoughts on, do I chow kale? No. See, let's see if there's anything. The, the no. pigs get organic veggies. They usually spit out kale if it's in the mix, but there's just some cabbage here. And onions. Yeah, they shouldn't be eating onions. They shouldn't even get onions. No, it's not good they for don't. them. 
Okay. So, if you guys wonder where the Asprey Farm stuff, if you live up on Vancouver Island, you actually get you actually can get uh, Asprey Farms meat at local grocery stores, the local organic stores. We're actually feeding our community because I think that's important. If you're gonna take the time to do it right, share it with your friends. So, all right. A um, couple people asking about out of stocks on vitamins. There's a vitamin out of stocks in a lot of places uh, right now. And that's just because um, everyone's taking their vitamins right now. I couldn't give you exact dates on the stuff on the Bulletproof site. At this, at this time though, I'd say get what you can get. Zinc is really important. Selenium is really important. Vitamin C, vitamin D. That one right there, that's gonna be the best spotted bacon. <laughs> Don't drink tap water. That's a question from Beryl. Tap water is a bad choice unless it comes from a well and that's been tested. All right, coming off a keto diet, what's the choice on the best carbs to eat? Inner Fuel, the prebiotic that I make. Um, you need lots of that. If you can't get that, acacia gum. Uh, but things that are going to restore your gut bacteria. Long-term keto is bad for your gut bacteria. All right, do I have a twin brother? No, but there's some weird guy um, who keeps going up on Tumblr and using my photo and saying his name is something else. It's super weird. If you see that guy, totally ask him out on dates. <laughs> Uh, natural DHT blocker. Um, so people are talking about dim, uh, chrysin. There's probably some things like that. None of them seem to work that well. All right. Now, I'm feeling like we've had a good long visit with everyone. What do you think, Anna? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Would you like to say goodbye to the Instagram world? <laughs> goodbye. All right, guys. Hopefully you're having a great uh, time at home alone. And I will see you online soon.